what I have here today is I'm going to be doing a modification of my Razer Core X box um, with a fanless power supply. The power supply inside the eGPU box is not standard. It's smaller than the regular uh, power supplies. Uh, but we have a fractal design power supply, which is even smaller than that, than that, which is good. We'll have more space inside the box. Uh, very promising, fanless uh, power supply. We will have to cut the mesh on the back because the power supply, the fractal power supply, uh, will not match the holes from the old power supply. So let's get started. We will start by taking apart the eGPU box. We'll have to take the fan, the two, the, the fan, the power supply out, the board out, the card out. Everything needs to come out in order to do the modification. The way to open the eGPU box, the Razer core is very easy. You just pull that lever and everything pulls out. Very nice uh, design. So first thing we need to do is take the two screws down there then there are two more screws down there and that whole part will come off for the screw below there we have to close the lever and then you'll be able to put your screwdriver in there is a latch down there release latch uh, which will, once you press it, you can pull the card out. We also have to take the board out. Um, it's very easy to take out. Just take all the screws, it comes out. We have to disconnect the fan plug. You just pull it, it comes out. Once we have taken all the screws out, the power supply with the fan is ready to come out. You just pull it out, it, it, it comes out very easy. The old power supply opening is down there, the new one will be up here, so we'll have to cut a little bit. Um, let's take the new power supply out of the box and uh, see where exactly we need to do the cut. The packaging is quite nice on the new uh, power supply. I am very, very pleasantly surprised by it. The new power supply is the same wattage as the old one, but it's much smaller as you can see. The new power supply is fanless until above 300 watt uh, load. So let's say your laptop is 100 watts and the video card is idling at 15 watts. The, the whole GPU box will be completely silent. There will be no fans running at all. Now I wanted the fan to go to the outer side of... Uh, the GPU box. There is a mesh where it can breathe out. It can spit the hot air out. So, as you can see, once I put it in the GPU box, uh, it doesn't align with the opening for the power button and for the power plug, for the power cord. So, I'll definitely have to do some cutting. The way to fix the new power supply to the GPU box is uh, you have to drill a small hole and use the supplied screw to fix the power supply to the eGPU chassis. So 
So I have finally uh, completed the assembly and it looks very good. Um, there is way much more space between the power, uh, the power supply and the video card right now. It used to go all the way to that edge over there, so about two, three centimeters wider. Now there is just plenty, plenty of space uh, for the air to flow. Now it's time to assemble it and go for testing. As you can see, that mesh on the side will allow for the power supply uh, to breathe. You can see the old fan over there and uh, the power supply has about 50%. Uh, I might opt it actually out to take that big fan out, but the power supply has like 50% opening so it can breathe out. Uh, hopefully it's not going to be needed at all. On the back everything looks good. Uh, and we are ready for testing. Actually what I uh, decided to do is, I actually decided to remove the fan. So there is even more space inside the box. Um, it's not really needed uh, for my setup. So I took it out. Oh you guys will. I just wanted to show you that the card is right now running and it's virtually silent. There is nothing from the power supply, the laptop is uh, being charged and there is no sound. I'll just shut up and, and let you hear. Overall I'm extremely happy with uh, the result. No noise, no sound from the fan, which is nice.